Hi everyone, back in GeoGuessr. I haven't played GeoGuessr for uh, quite a while, a couple weeks maybe, and I haven't recorded anything for over a month, so let's see how this goes. Uh, I've just been busy. Um, I'm sure you've noticed if you uh, are subscribed that I only upload once a week now. Uh, that will probably continue for the foreseeable future. I used to do Saturdays and Wednesday videos, now I just do Saturday. Uh, anyway, but we're in unique regions around the world, which uh, there's no description, but it was created by ZigZag, and I haven't played this before, I haven't even opened it to see any of the rounds, so I don't know what it's going to be like. Um, I'm just trying to think about, what, like, if I should allow moving. I think I'm going to allow moving and do the three minute time limit. Let's get this started and see how it goes. Okay, yeah, so it is on a road, um, so I will try to move a bit. Uh, so let's try to get a language or something from the signs. Um, I'm thinking this, first I was thinking Mediterranean, but I'm not actually sure about that. Could be Asia as well. Some of the other, like the roads and stuff kind of remind me more of Asia, but, uh, could also be somewhere like Malta maybe or one of the Spanish islands there in the um oh no I think it's Asia oh okay so that's Korean um yeah so I think I did mention Asia but yeah it definitely doesn't look like the rest of Korea which makes me think it could be that island Jeju I believe it's called just assuming that they probably have different uh vegetation there because which other islands other than that would be Korean? Anyway, let's look for these places and see if they exist. Okay, I don't see any of these, so maybe it's not there. I don't have any highway numbers or anything, so... Uh, but it's definitely Korean, right? No, that looks... The other ones look more Japanese to me, though. This one looks Korean. So maybe it... Is there somewhere where they speak both? Actually, these... Some of these look more Japanese to me. That's kind of weird. Maybe I just... Because, like, the circular things, that's a Korean thing. But these more, like, uh, curved lines and stuff, I thought was more Japanese. Oh, no, maybe not. Um... But yeah, is there somewhere where they speak both? I don't know. I'm going to go here, though. But it's not Japan because they're driving on the right. Um, okay, yeah. But these, so these places, I think that's Japanese and that's Korean. So it's somewhere where they would have both languages on the sign. Um... Nakchon Ri Han Wan Ri. Okay. Okay, there's that R I um, ending there. There's a few more here. I'm not sure if that's something that you see all over the place in Korea, but definitely a lot here. Oh, there's that one. Okay, I just didn't. I had to zoom in more to find it. We're out of time, but we're somewhere near here. So, should be a pretty good score. Yes, very close. Um,. Only a few points off there. I was just a bit confused for a while there. So, is this going to be the same island? We got a Kia pickup truck, which... I've never seen a Kia pickup truck before, so I would assume we're in Korea again. Um, and I assume we're on Jeju again, if this looks pretty much identical in terms of, like, the roads and the... Uh, vegetation and stuff which is interesting i never knew that it looked like that down there um okay so let's just look for these places since it's probably going to be there again these ones end with ro not ri so what does that mean wait i'm just curious okay other parts of korea do that as well but i assume we're going to be here um 
Oh, I thought that was that name there, but it's something else. So we got Dae Han and Bo Siong Sang. Um, yeah, I don't know how much I'll have to zoom in to see this. Could this be just an alternate spelling, I'm wondering? I don't know if that's a thing that happens. Um, yeah, because I know sometimes the English translation isn't going to be identical on Google versus um, what it says on the signs. So let's just assume for now that we're over here. Uh, we do have the mountains off to the east, which works. Um, almost out of time though. Unfortunately, there's no highway numbers, which actually, what are those things? 288.1. No, I don't think that's what it is. Uh, anyway, but we're east of that. And Dehan. Okay. I still don't see that. That's the problem. Like with this, I think it's just an alternate spelling. But I don't see the other place name, which could be a problem. And I'm running out of time. And <clears throat> it's not enough signage, really, um, to help me out too much. So hopefully I can find another road, but it's probably not going to happen. So let's see. Hopefully we're here somewhere. Okay. Let's see what it does. Oh, okay. Oh, there's that place. So, oh, so it's actually this place, I think, Bo Siang. So they, it wasn't exactly the same as what was on the sign, but it was the first part, I believe, was the same. They just cut out the ending part, like the name was longer on the sign. Okay, so this one's a bit of a different type of climate. I'm not going to trust the, any of the car meta because I don't, know it that well anyway or i've forgotten a lot of it but also because oh shit that's all we can do but also because um you know these weird regions sometimes have different coverage or different uh, google cars than the rest of the country and this one though is going to be hard because we can't move that far um and of course the sun is not being helpful it's right up in the north um it looks like it's a relatively poor country, though, I would assume. Actually, no. I thought that was a house, but it's just some type of thing for the farm. Let's just try to look at the buildings, though. Let's see if we can... Okay, well, it's definitely somewhat tropical. But I don't see any buildings or any cars. I'm sure some people could figure it out based on the poles. Yeah, this one could be way off, though. I have no idea. Um... I don't even have a guess, really. I mean, maybe I will have to... Oh. Look at that building. Um, I don't think it could be... It doesn't look tropical enough Tropical enough to be, like, anywhere in the Pacific. Uh, like the islands there, but... Um, I mean, if I had to use the car meta, I believe that Argentina has the... Um, the black car. I just don't know how far south it could be because I feel like their climate is just a gradually, gradually getting more polar or whatever, more cold as you get farther south. So I don't feel like there's any weird, like unique region, or not unique, but like unique regions in, in the sense that it'd be different from the rest of the country. I feel like it'd be you know, kind of a gradual change as you get farther south, but who knows. Um, although the buildings here, do they look South American, really? The thing is, it's such a small amount of street view that who knows if it's even in a place that normally has street view. Um, Yeah, who knows? It's not too cold, though, obviously, because we have some, like, palm trees, but these trees here, I don't know, they look 
like what you'd see in a colder climate too, which is kind of confusing me. I guess that's why it's it's a unique places map. I think I'm just going to keep it down there in uh, um, Tierra del Fuego. What? Okay, is this a joke map? Maybe it is. I haven't played this before, but is it all just going to be Jeju? That looked completely different than the other two rounds I got there. That's interesting. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, this is not... Okay, that was just a weird coincidence that the first three rounds were there. But this one's definitely not. P.E.? I don't actually know what that is. Peru, I would assume, but I assu I thought Peru would be P.R., but... Okay, well. So we do have Spanish, and it is Peru, I guess. Um, okay, I just, I'm curious what makes this so unique though, as opposed to just a normal desert. Um, okay. If I don't see anything, I'll just stick, actually I better do that now in case if I forget to look at the time uh probably somewhere around there oh shit here we got some signs that will most likely be the best clue that we have um so it is peru and it's one nj i don't know what's um if it's better to look for that or look for the Oh wait, I feel like these are all like a different language though. Do they have any islands anywhere? No. But yeah, is there somewhere that like Wait a minute. It's pointing to Peru and then Peru is this P Puar this name whatever it's called is that just an alternate spelling a Peru in a different language or is that a place name or like a province name or whatever they call it because hmm yeah because it's on the crest here but the crest I don't know it looks different than these other ones I think I should just look for these place names I guess but I don't know how big they'll be well I can obviously it's not going to be in any of the tropical parts of the country so that kind of narrows it down a bit. I don't know what this area looks like, but I feel like... Oh no, we are up here. Oh. Okay. Okay, that was, that was weird. I don't know what the deal is with the language here or whatever it is, but we got this roundabout. I'm just trying to see... Ah, the movement is being annoying, but we're going west somewhere oh okay i thought oh, okay i guess it was pointing yeah i was thinking the other way around that we'd be uh one of the routes would bypass that town and then uh and then it would be going up to this one but i got it mixed up it's the other way around um anyway that was kind of an interesting round i'm not sure what the deal is with that um Again, this one. I mean, I know that's the point of the map, but this one is like another one that I'm just not getting any idea. Like, I don't have any idea where it is. Just um, based on based on initial in instincts or anything. Something's wrong with the movements. As I said, I haven't played much GeoGuessr recently. I'm not sure if the movements are screwed up again because it seemed like for a while they were getting a lot better. I don't know. Um, shit. Yeah, this movement is extremely slow here for some reason. Um, which honestly, I don't know if it matters because I don't think we'll be able to get any clues. I have no idea where this is, though. Oh, here we go. That 
This might be our only clue. It's kind of ambiguous, uh, like ethnic or racial, whatever. Like he's dark, but I don't know if he's like South American or South Asian or or what I don't I don't know and I don't know if it's a clue that he's on this side of the road if that means that we're driving on the left um because I think I've seen this car in where have I seen this car Botswana maybe I don't know or South Africa I can't I feel like I've seen a white car uh but you also get that in Chile and Peru I believe so it could be one of those two Somehow the movement's fixed since we passed that motorcycle guy. Um, oh, there's a car that might be helpful. No license plate, but it's a pickup truck that is not one that you would see in North America. So it doesn't really help, but it could be either. I'm leaning towards either South America or South Africa, which is not that helpful because they're so far apart. Um, now the movement is just I'm trying to, I don't understand why just this area is screwed up, but then once I got far enough away, it was fine, but I'm going to go South Africa on this one. Um, somewhere up here, maybe in the national park, Kruger national park. I know they have coverage. Indonesia. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Way off. Uh, score was pretty bad. Look at all these bad ones. Actually, it's just two bad ones. The other two, I got the island right. And then the Peru one, I was pretty close. Uh, so pretty bad score, but that's to be expected from this map. It's quite a hard map. Um, yeah, so a few people have gotten perfect score, but it's taken a long time. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, as I said, I haven't recorded in over a month, so... It's kind of hard to get back into it. It's a bit weird, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll make another video after this probably, but uh, yeah, see you in the video next week. Bye.